What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Wonder by Sean Mendez. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs by Sean Mendez that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you want to know to play Wonder on guitar is that in order to get some bar chords and keep this song as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to fourth fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'm going to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing that you want to know to play Wonder on guitar is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse, then go to chorus then verse and chorus again, and then we're gonna finish up with one last chorus to take us out of the song. And the last thing that you wanna know before we dive into Wonder is the four chords that you need to play this song. The first one is C. The next one is D minor. The next one is A minor. And the last one is F. And I'll have a beginner way to play that F chord as well as chord charts for all the other chords in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Wonder. Man, this is such a beautiful song. I was just wondering when Shawn Mendes was going to release some new music, and this song came out late last night, and I, oh, I just love it. It's so cool, it's got such a great vibe, and it's a perfect song to play on guitar as well. So this song is really cool because it just has one chord progression that's going to repeat through the whole entire song. The only thing that's going to change up a little bit, depending on where we're at in the song, is the strum pattern. So first, let's take a look at the chord progression that repeats through the whole song. We're going to start out with a C chord, then go to D minor, then A minor, and then we're going to end on F. And again, I will have a beginner way to play that F chord in the pinned comment below if you need it. And that chord progression is going to repeat through the whole entire song start to finish. So like I said, the only thing that changes up in this song, depending on where we're at in the song, is what we're using for strum pattern. Now, this song is actually more piano based. so. What we're doing is kind of trying to emulate what's being played on piano, but I wanted to take that just a little bit of a step further. Because if you're playing this to match up with the piano, the majority of this song would just be single down strums. Just a single down strum from each chord. Just down, 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 down. And that's what the majority of the song would be if we were just matching up with the piano, which you can absolutely do and it would sound beautiful. But what I wanted to do was actually make kind of a combination of what's being played on piano and also incorporate that drum beat as well. So sounds a little bit funny and sounds complicated if you're a beginner, but it's actually super cool and very beginner friendly. So let's break this down chord by chord. We're gonna start with our C chord here. And what we're gonna do for our strum pattern is this. For each chord, we're gonna play down, up, down, down, up, down, down, just like that, and you'll notice that there's some spacing in there, and that spacing is actually intentional. That is where you wanna kinda of have the spaces in the strum pattern, because that's gonna match up with those drum beats in the song, those big, awesome drums that play through the song. So what we're gonna do is, again, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. And that matches up with what's being played on piano chord-wise, but also complements it with that kinda of hitting that guitar part on the drum beat. So this would be a really cool way to cover this acoustic if you're gonna do like an acoustic cover of this song, which I hope some of you guys do, and if you do, please tag me in it. So again, that's what we're playing for each chord. So a little walk through what that strum pattern is gonna look like with each chord is about like this. We'll start with our C chord. We'll go down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, D minor, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, A minor, down, up, down, down, Just about like that repeated through all of our verses. Now, one little thing I'm gonna add to this is that when I've been playing this song, I've been doing the verses palm muted. And if you don't know what palm muting is, all it's doing is taking the soft part of your hand right here on your strumming hand and resting it on your strings near your bridge while you're strumming to kind of mute and muffle the chords. I'm doing that because it kind of dials back and gives it this just like, more mellow and more percussive dialed back sound that we have in the verses so that whenever we do get to the choruses they sound a lot bigger like the actual songs those choruses are huge and we want those choruses to sound as big as they do in the original song so a part of that is making sure that the verses are kind of quiet and subdued so we're going to use the same strum pattern same chord progression but we're going to palm mute it there and this is kind of optional if you're a beginner you don't have to do this but that's what I'm doing when I play it. So again, a little walkthrough and a little bit about what that will sound like is about like this. We'll go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down.
just about like that. And again, all I'm doing is instead of just strumming that big and open, I'm just making sure that my palm is either resting or hitting on those strings whenever I actually hit the strums on those. So guys, with that in mind, a couple of times through that chord progression with that verse strum pattern will look about like this without me talking. And guys, from there, all that's gonna leave us with is what we're playing for our choruses. For our choruses, we're gonna be using the same exact chord progression. Like I said, C, D minor, A minor, and F. It's just gonna repeat through the whole entire song, start to finish. But again, we're gonna switch up our strum patterns. So, what we're gonna start with is actually a single down strum for each chord. And we're gonna play through our chord progression with that single down strum pattern one time at the beginning of our choruses. So it'll look about like this. We'll go down, 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 down. Just like that, we're just gonna play through that one time. And then after we've played through that chord progression with just the single down strums one time, we're gonna switch over to that same chord progression that we used for our verses, but we're not gonna palm mute it this time. We're just gonna play it full out, really big and loud. So again, that strum pattern is gonna be down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. But like I said, this time we're gonna play it big and loud for the choruses. And that's why that palm muting makes sense in the verse to make sure that the verses stay kind of dialed back and kind of quiet and subdued so that whenever we do play that big part in the chorus, it sounds extra big and loud. So again, guys, we kind of already went over this, but that strum pattern walked through with that chord progression will look about like this. Start with our C chord. We'll go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. Just like that. It sounds super cool. It matches up perfectly with the song. And again, guys, I really hope some people cover this kind of using this style because I think it's going to sound so, so cool. So just as a little recap for our choruses, we're going to play through that chord progression one time with just single down strums for each chord. And then after that, for the entire rest of the chorus, we're going to play through that same chord progression, but with that big strum pattern, that big long strum pattern, the same one we used for verse, but not palm muted. So guys, with all that in mind, a couple of times through that chorus chord progression with that chorus strum pattern will look about like this without me talking.
guys, that is everything you need to know to play Wonder on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 800 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel that usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what songs I'm jamming on, where I'm traveling right now, or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. And lastly, guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below as well. Guys, I am a big big fan of Sean Mendez and I love teaching his music on this channel. If you remember, if you've been around for a while, I actually taught pretty much his entire last album on this channel. So if you like Sean Mendez, this is a good place to be. But as soon as I heard Wonder, I knew I had to share this song with you guys. It's such a beautiful song. And even if it and even though it's not super guitar based, there is some guitar in this, but it's very, very subtle. But even though this is mostly a piano based song and very heavy drum song, it fits perfectly with guitar. I'm really excited to see if Sean Mendez makes like an acoustic version of this song or performs it acoustic live if we ever have live concerts or shows again. But I'm also really excited to see what you guys do with this as far as YouTube covers go because I think that this could be a really, really, really cool song to cover on acoustic guitar using this style that we just learned here or another style entirely. But it's a beautiful, beautiful song, guys. I had a lot of fun learning this one. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.